Will everyone please stand for the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. On behalf of our superintendent of schools, Dr. Harold Mellaby Jr., and our school district board of education, I would like to welcome you to Eastern Regional High School's annual back to school night program. My name is Robert Tall, and I'm the principal of Eastern Regional High School. The purpose for tonight's program is to give you an opportunity to meet your child's teachers and learn a little about the courses in which he or she is enrolled. Teachers are not prepared to discuss the progress of individual students. If you have concerns about your student's progress in any class, I ask that you would please contact the teacher or your student's guidance counselor through email or by telephone. This marks the third year of our four-day rotating bell schedule and semesterized grading. The schedule is, des is designed to maximize time and resources and relationships. Students have more opportunities in their experience now at Eastern Regional High School to engage in a greater variety of learning opportunities or concentrate in areas of their interests. The daily schedule allows for greater engagement with peers, offerings of extra help during the school day, supports for success, and participation in extracurricular programs. The Bell Schedule provides students um, with the responsibility to enhance their high school experience by engaging in these enriching opportunities unavailable in the traditional Bell Schedule. Faculty members gain opportunities to engage in ongoing discussions of pedagogy and best practices to improve student achievement. The common lunch and lab period is split into two 30-minute periods. The students are encouraged to eat lunch during one of these periods and then allow time, which allows time for them to engage in extra help or other scheduled activities. Specific areas of the building are designated as locations for eating. In all locations, students are expected to pick up after themselves, place trash and recyclables in appropriate containers, and behave in an appropriate manner. To help support our common lunch needs, we have adjusted food distribution areas. Each of our cafeterias is equipped with four registers with two hotlines, a deli pre-made sandwiches, salads, and deli kiosks which serve pizza and french fries. The various eating locations are the 20 cafeteria, the 500 cafeteria, the guidance courtyard, gym one, Gym 1 Breezeway, the Senior Courtyard for Seniors Only, and the Susan M. Gongo Learning Center and the Media Center, which is designated as our algae-free area. While in your student's tier room or your testing information room, you should receive their printed schedule, a parent survey, and updated school map. Please complete the survey and return it to the teacher in your last period class or drop it off at one of the offices. In an ongoing effort to reduce the consumption of resources, we continue to utilize a paperless system for failure notices and report cards. A Blackboard Connect message will be sent to parents when report cards are available. This message will be automatically sent to the telephone numbers you've provided in the parent porthole of PowerSchool. If you prefer a different or additional contact numbers, please update this information in the parent portal or power school. Any parent who would like to receive a hard copy of all other reports during the school year may do so by visiting our website. All important dates are posted on our website. Failure notices are 928, 1026, 1121, and December 21st, 2018. The first semester ends on January 24th, 2019. All senior and junior gym classes will be held in gym one. All freshman and sophomore gym, health, and driver's education classes will be held in gym four. During your student's study hall period, we will have instructions 
available on creating your PowerSchool Parent Portal account in the Susan M. Gongo Learning Center or the Media Center. We ask that you stop by the main lobby to purchase school apparel and other related items and invite you to visit the cafeterias where you will find refreshments. Research shows that a student's success in school results in large part to parental involvement and participation in various school programs. Though Eastern does not have a PTA, there are several organizations needing parent involvement. And they include the Eastern Education Foundation, the Municipal Alliance, Project Graduation, and the District Advisory Council. We will have four tables set up in the main lobby where you can receive information on Project Graduation, the Eastern Education Foundation, and the SPOT Teen Center. If you wish to become involved with the Eastern Education Foundation, Municipal Alliance, or District Advisory Council, please visit our website. If you have not already done so, please remember to fill out the New Jersey Health Insurance Form located on our website. We're asking that every parent or guardian print and complete the form and have your student return the completed form to their first period teacher by Thursday, October 18th, 2018. This form may be found by visiting our website. To keep informed about Eastern activities and events, I invite you to visit our website and Twitter accounts. In addition, please log into PowerSchool to update phone numbers and email addresses used for automatic school communication. Eastern Regional High School uses a system called Blackboard Connect to provide timely information about important school issues as well as information relating to academic, athletic, and extracurricular activities. This year, we will be utilizing the email feature. Therefore, it is important that you update phone numbers and email addresses in the parent portal of PowerSchool. You may do this by going to the tab forms and then to the communication tab. Administrators will be located throughout the building to answer any questions regarding the schedule or other questions that you have concerning you at this time. Again, we want to thank you for coming and have a great evening.